good morning from a very chilly Walt Disney World. Today's vlog is gonna be kind of different. Today I am filming my day in the life living next to Walt Disney World. What it is like to live basically at Walt Disney World. I've wanted to film this video for a while and I feel like today I have a lot of stuff going on today. It's a very big action-packed day so I figured today was a good day to film this video. So if you're new here, hi, my name is Meg. I moved to Walt Disney World exactly a year ago. I've been living here in Central Florida and I absolutely love it. It was my dream for years to get down here to Orlando and I highly recommend it. So yeah, today's vlog is kind of gonna be a little bit different. It's just gonna be a whole collection of my daily life and this is gonna be an exciting day in my life. Like yes, the thing that comes with when you live in Orlando, you then have work and you have obligations and you know there's like the real life stuff happens it's not just oh yeah i live at disney world and i just go to the parks all day long like that's not realistic i do work a full-time job i work five days a week and then you know i have my days off so today happens to be one of my days off so you're seeing like an exciting day of getting to go out and do all the disney stuff but the amazing thing is like even on my days like yesterday i worked i worked a full eight hour day and then I came home, got changed real quick, and then went and met my friend over at Magic Kingdom. And we just walked around. It was a crowded, crowded night. I didn't vlog any of it. It was just hanging out with a good friend, catching up. And it's like, that's the things that you're able to do living down here. And the thing that I can't get over is that, yes, like you go to work, you have those obligations, but it's like, when you finish what you gotta do in the day, you get to be in Walt Disney World. Like you have all of this as your literal backyard. That's what I wanna to capture today, is talking about the lifestyle living here in Orlando because I feel like it's an appropriate time to make this video. I did just celebrate my one year as a Floridian. So I'm starting off the day over here at Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa. And I actually came over here because I just had my hair appointment at the Grand Floridian Salon located over at the spa and it was so amazing. I'm so happy that I found the stylist that I found there. So yeah, I got a fresh cut. I just came from the salon. I will link a video. I actually did a full length video the first time that I ever went there to the spa and got my hair done. Highly recommend Jen is the stylist that I use there. She is incredible i had the first appointment of the day 9 a.m just left there and now i am ready for the day i'm going to actually go back home for a little bit so i'm meeting up with a couple different friends today and we're going to hang out in the parks but i'm actually going to go back home for a little bit because this is kind of like some of my work type stuff <laughs> while it's my day off from my day job i do have YouTube stuff I have to get done. I'm gonna go home and do some of that and spend time with my cat. Then we're gonna be back over here to property. But the amazing thing when your hairstylist is at the Grand Floridian, you spend some time after you're done your appointment walking around the Grand Floridian. So that's what I'm doing right now. And I actually wanna go over and get a coffee over at, <laughs> good morning. Oh my gosh, I love it. The cast members are so into it this morning. <laughs> That was great. Okay, so I'm gonna go over and get a coffee actually from the quick service here. Gasparilla Island Grill is the quick service that's here. They actually serve Joffrey's coffee inside there. And if you're new on my channel, that's a big thing for me. I love my Joffrey's coffee. Oh my gosh, this is so nuts. So they've been redoing the rooms here at the Grand Floridian, but currently I'm seeing they have a whole trailer that is piled up with the furniture from the rooms. And look, those guys are pushing out like mattresses. <laughs> This is so cool to witness. It's all going to Cast Connections right now. Cast Connections is the cast member exclusive store that they have, and you can actually purchase items that were on Disney property, like usually in Disney hotel rooms, stuff like that. I love that type of stuff. I actually, during my time as a cast member, I got a, I have like a trash can in my bathroom that was a Polynesian resort bathroom trash can so yeah that's just you can find some pretty neat stuff like that yeah. so yeah I'm looking at what's in that trailer like oh stuff I want to I want to purchase <laughs> I'm no longer a cast member myself but I have cast member friends so anytime I get to go into cast connections as a guest I always take advantage of that <laughs> yeah, they are doing a ton a ton of construction here at the Grand Floridian currently this whole building is getting redone this is actually the building I stayed in it's my first vacation as a Floridian when I moved down here I stayed with some friends at the Grand Floridian and it was in this building right here. I think this one's Sugarloaf. I'm not sure. I've also, the only other time I stayed at the Grand Floridian was in Big Pine Key, which is that building right there. Let's go get a little coffee and maybe a pastry. This is definitely a treat myself kind of morning. I just came out of the 
quick service I got. This is a Joffrey's frozen blended coffee. I asked them if there was any flavor that they could add to it, and they said that no, it just comes standard. And it came out with like all this chocolate. So I mean, hey, I'm pretty happy about that. Look at this view over to the castle. And as always, when you are looking to plan your next visit to Walt Disney World, contact my friends at 407 and Beyond Vacation Company. You can get a free quote from them anytime at 407vacations.com and they can really take all that stress of planning off of you, give you the best recommendations for what hotels are gonna be best for you and your family, for you and your friends. Take care of all of those little details that can really take your vacation to the next level. Look out for the best deals, all of that. So go ahead and contact them today. Okay, I'm back in the car now. I'm gonna go ahead and leave the Grand, drive back home, do some real quick like YouTube. I Last night, late last night, I had an editing session. I finished editing my Festival of the Arts video. So I just have to do the thumbnail, tags, title, the description, all that stuff, all the back end stuff of YouTube. Shouldn't take me too long. Hang with Mickey and then I'm heading out to Magic Kingdom. So we're gonna be back over this way very, very soon. And I'm meeting up with my friend. I'll talk more about that in a second, but I'm excited to see her. It's gonna be an all in all good day. I have no idea how to be dressed for today. So basically you see I'm in my winter jacket. It was 40 degrees this morning. and in Florida with the the moisture that is bone chilling cold so I had my winter jacket on this morning but now already with the sun coming out it feels like I don't think I need this anymore probably gonna even take this off right now to drive home but then when I come back out I'm gonna be out for like all evening and I have dinner plans tonight and everything so I think I'm, I'm gonna like keep this in my car or like ball it up in my backpack to carry around. Layers, that's what you need this time of year in Florida, layers. The high today is gonna get into like the 60s but yeah, the lows are down in the 40s. It, it's a big range. Okay, flash forward, I went home, got my work done that I needed to do for YouTube. Now I am back on property. I just parked over here at Epcot. So I'm actually meeting up with my friend over at Magic Kingdom, but I'm then ending the night. I have a dining reservation with some other friends here at Epcot. And it's a little like tip. My family actually has done this for years. We would always do this on our vacations that we like to leave the car wherever we're gonna end the night. So then when you're like coming out of the park, you just like come right out to your car and you don't have to to like trek all the way back. I don't have to at you know nine o'clock at night tonight be taking the monorail and doing the whole transportation getting myself back over to TTC which is Magic Kingdom's parking which that parking lot is such a mess. It is just, it's a lot. It's, it's really a lot. Anyone who's parked at Disney will tell you. So anyway, I just drove, parked the car here at Epcot and we're gonna catch the monorail over to Magic Kingdom. How's this for timing? Look at that. made it over here to Magic Kingdom. So I don't think I said it yet, I'm meeting up with my friend Alyssa and she's my very good friend. She's been in the vlogs before. We've done a lot of trips together in the past. Me and her used to work together and yeah, she's just such a good friend. She is in town for the week and she has a day here at Disney. So we're gonna meet up today, hang out. We're starting off here at MK. She's very excited. We were already talking. We were just texting and saying we wanna ride the train first off. She hasn't gotten to experience it since it's come back. So we're gonna do that and then I I think we're gonna head over to Epcot for a little bit and do Festival of the Arts over there. So I met up with Alyssa and we are actually grabbing food first. We both were hungry. So we came here to Columbia Harbor House. I got my go-to. I got the kids meal salmon and the french fries. Also big shout out to Zach, the cast member that we just met. He watches the videos. Thank you so much for saying hi. And thank you for making magic here. He's currently on his college program right now. So that is so exciting. Okay, so here's Alyssa. We're hi together. <laughs> Ever, I've said, you are like a returning here. I am. All the vlogs. We've had all these vacations and adventures <laughs> together. <laughs> You're back in town. I'm You're making back. a little cameo appearance. There you go. <laughs> So yes, you're in Orlando. You're gonna be doing stuff at Universal this week, which yes. I am actually planning to get an annual pass to Universal. Like Somewhere I need to get over there. Yeah. You need it. I need it. I haven't been since this 2019. That yeah. was when, the yeah. last time that I was in was Universal. I yeah, I think yeah. we were together. Yep. That was the last time like 
going on four years ago. Because mm -hmm. we're in 2023 now. Yeah, that's and nuts. You're, now you're here. Now I'm here. It needs so to happen. Here. It needs to happen. But yeah, we're here now. We just got over to Epcot. So we spent time in Magic. Witnessed a very interesting thing in Magic Kingdom. We witnessed a guy jumping over the wall. Yeah. <laughs> right there at the moat looking over right the castle. Right by Sleepy Hollow, right? No, yes. That's Sleepy Hollow. Sleepy you're right. Hollow, yeah. <laughs> Go over here. <laughs> Oh my god, what is he doing? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe somebody dropped something? I think so. Security hasn't found him yet. No. I don't think he can get... The security has knocked oh. him over here. Okay, oh, there he, he is. It. He got it. He's good. Oh my god. So dangerous. It's too much. We don't know Crazy. what he was doing, but she captured it on... <laughs> you on our camera. The thing, you never know what you're gonna see in Disney World. Now, we just came over here to Epcot. We took the monorail. We got to see the construction updates. How cool yes. was that? You saw, this what is it, awesome. Yes. Oh my gosh, there she is. She's there. That's insane. I hadn't seen that yet since like, very Tahiti massive. got. I mean, it looked, yeah. yeah. And the whole like, it was like a cave with them, you know, water features. Yeah, they have like all the rock work, all of that. So we're coming in here now. We're both excited for Festival of the Arts. Yeah. Melissa's first we're gonna go time. To the painting wall. I, I didn't get to do that when I was here on opening day. So ah, we're going to the painting so wall. I can't wait. We're heading around to the paint by numbers mural. So it's actually set up, they changed the location of it this year. So it's right, we're in that location, like this is the area before you would head across over to World Showcase. And right here is where they put the, the mural this year. What do they call this? The, the expression section, a paint by numbers mural. And then they give you a cool bookmark at the end that shows what you painted, what you contributed to. Oh, this is the figment one. I don't think I got to do this one last year. And I was trying to collect all of the bookmarks, so I'm excited. So look, those are like the different ones that you can do. Yeah, I think I did that one, that one, and maybe the Small World one last year. And so the one that we get to do today is literally the one that I have still needed to do. Here, we gotta get our brushes. There's your brush. Oh, what color do you want? We get to pick. I'm gonna do this one, the pink. Is this purple? That's blue. blue. Uh, where, is there a purple? No. You know, a lot of people are taking pink. I'm gonna do yellow. Oh, okay. I'm changing up, I'm taking yellow. No one, yeah, not as many people took yellow. I gotta be different. Yes, grab them. You can hear them back there working behind the wall. <laughs> Alyssa being bad, she's gonna draw on the wall. So here we go, we got our color. Oh, here's some sevens. There's some sevens, so we get to do three, he said. I see where I wanna go. I want okay. to, because this is bothering me. You see there's some purple that uh -huh. led into some sevens. Oh, no, 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 yeah. I'm gonna clean that up. Okay. So I have a number seven here. Yellow, yellow. My favorite color. Let's fix this up. Very nice. I love painting. Did you know I used to do oil painting? I actually took oil painting classes when I was like Wow. 11, 12. Yeah. Oil painting and is like, hard. I want to get back into it. I just don't yeah. have time in my life to get back into it. But eventually. Oil painting is challenging. It is relaxing. Why I need to do it. Is she painting three? Let's find she out. Or is she gonna paint four? Am I gonna paint more? Am I gonna break the rules? Is she gonna break the rules? It's like a little upside down in Okay. I'm gonna go behind you on this side. I'm gonna pan out. There. <laughs> there, we got a paint splotch on the ground, but it's not, it's not it's real. It's not from me. <laughs> it's not from Megan, no. You see, I'm a perfectionist. You have to yeah, you it. are. You're doing a double coat. I just did oh, one yeah. single yeah, coat. Yeah, you have to do it. Oh, yeah. Actually, this is like a triple coat job. Wow. You did good. I'm asking we got to take a picture I of your spot. Yes, look, I contributed to Wow, yours is good. Good job. <laughs> After you're done, they give you the bookmark of what you actually created. Like, you contributed to this. So we were over in, like, that section up there. So we were probably in 
Okay. Which one do we do? I think maybe I did his eyes. Yep. Yeah, uh -huh. probably that. Yep. We're now walking around. This was the area that I didn't even touch upon this when I was here for opening night. They have more like booths and everything set up over here in this part of Future World. World Discovery now, I guess they call it, right? Also over here by Creation Shop, they have more artist booths over here. And I didn't even get to walk over here the other night. So we're gonna explore some of this. Oh wow. Look at that. It's so intricate. Oh my god. Yeah. Going around Epcot, we just actually went inside of the Figment Imagination Station and I had the grape smoothie and it was so cute. And then Alyssa had the rainbow cake, which is really good. I had a little bit of it and it's just like a nice, very moist, Skittles. soft cake. It has yeah. the freeze dried Skittles crazy. on top. My smoothie had yeah. the freeze dried Skittles too and they were so fun. My birthday vlog this year, we went to the Celebration Farmers Market and my cousin Katie oh, became yeah. obsessed with there was a booth selling I've never had them before. freeze dried Skittles and they're so good. And I don't like regular. Skittles, but a freeze dried Skittle, I love. They're very funny? light and crunchy. It's like airy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that was good. I would get both of those items again. I feel like they're just good. Like when you need a sweet treat, very good. Now we're walking around. Alyssa just had the sushi donut. Now Alyssa just got this is the sushi donut, which this was. I asked a question on my Instagram of what I should try at the festival. This was what everyone said oh. I needed to get. So I have to try it. I'm about ready to have my dining reservation, yeah. but on another day, I'm gonna another try it. Day, yes. It was good, it? yeah. Yeah? It was really good. We're actually gonna get in line for, I have to go to my dining it's reservation, good. but I think I'm gonna be able to watch a little bit of the Disney on Broadway concert series. So that's what we're gonna see tonight. I think it's the same people I saw on opening night. It's um, Kara Lindsay and who's the other? Who's the guy? Kevin Massey. Kevin Massey, thank you. Tarzan. 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 Oh, that's, that's so cute. <laughs> they're a, they're a married couple. Oh, that's adorable. to debut in one of the greatest cities in the world, New York City. This Disney on Broadway musical was also recently reimagined with the new production that began in London's Palladium Theater, toured all throughout Great Britain, and is now literally on a boat headed to Australia. So now, here's a song especially written for Toni Braxton when she joined the Broadway production of Beauty and the Beast. There's been a change in me, kind of moving on. I still depend upon that good can come from bad. Change of heart, Yes, you'd be a great spoon. I played a spinning plate, actually. Out there by the sand, taste a morning of bed. I swear I'll be content. Won't despair. I'll have spent out there. Watch what happens. 
so I just left the Disney on Broadway concert series. Say goodbye to my friend Alyssa. I'm actually meeting up with her again tomorrow. We're gonna be back here in Epcot and we're planning to do like a full festival of arts day tomorrow. We have like a whole list of food items that we wanna try and everything. I was gonna get some stuff today, but Right now I'm actually heading, I had to duck out of the show early because I have a very exciting dining reservation tonight with some more of my friends that actually just moved back down here to Florida. We're going to dinner tonight to celebrate at Garden Grill. But yeah, the Disney on Broadway concert, that is like, last year I saw so many of those shows and this year I wanna see even more. Like I'm going to be living in this park, living here at Epcot. Those performers are so extremely talented and it was so cute, the couple tonight, the two performers, we were talking to some people in line who told us that they are actually a husband and wife duo and they kept bringing that up in the show and they would be like she'd be like my husband like isn't he amazing it was so adorable I'm a sucker for a love story so like that was just precious very talented performers so now I'm gonna go ahead and walk the world showcase it is a beautiful night right now the Sun is setting over world showcase lagoon and yeah I am heading to Garden Grill I actually ate here pretty recently I ate here the day of my run Disney race and the food is so good it's like a family style experience and it's character dining as well so you get to see Chippendale, Mickey, Bluto? Yes, those are the characters. Almost to the Lamb Pavilion right now. I have to pull over though. I have to show you this sunset. It is so gorgeous and I spotted Talked about this in the opening night of the Festival of the Arts vlog, but I was talking about the decals that they put up, like the little art decals throughout the park. And there's one that's over here by the backwards waterfall that I don't think has ever been there before. Like, I do not remember this last year. Also, before I show you that, huge shout out to, I just met some amazing people while I was walking around World Showcase. Big shout out to Stephanie, who's here with her friends right now on vacation. I hope you guys have an absolutely amazing time. And also Robert, who I met in World Showcase. Thank you guys so much for watching the videos. I truly, truly appreciate it. It's just so nice having such a good little Disney community here and getting to chat with people. It's been an amazing day. Like, seriously, just filled with so many good people. It's been such a good day. And now I'm gonna see some more friends tonight that I, like I said, are moving back down here to Florida. So there's lots to celebrate. Okay, now let me show you this. Here's the backwards waterfall in front of the Imagination Pavilion. And right there is a Sorcerer Mickey with the broomstick. And it's like he's controlling the water. That is the coolest detail ever. That is so cool. Oh yeah, I'm heading to Garden Grill, but oh my gosh, look at this. There's, what is that? It's one of these decals, but I don't even know what that is. It's like a, a splatter of something. Looks like an alien. What is that? Can anyone tell me? I don't, is that supposed to be a character? Okay, let's go to Garden Grill. How cute is this? We're passing Chip as we go. Hi, Chip. Hi, Chip. <laughs> You're good. Did you help make our food? Yeah? Oh, you're eating the food. That, that's a good, you're smart. So this waiter, I was just telling my friends about this. This is the most hidden, hidden Mickey on all the property. It's behind these leaves. You have to look at that palm leaf like it's a ladder. And it's his silhouette of his, the side profile of his face. And it's like Mickey's hidden underneath there. She's pointing it out again. Look at that. Do you see it yet? Yeah, it's like the side profile. Mouth and the nose. It's right there. Back, it's like he's behind the palm leaves. And it's on this big mural that's right before the opening there of the restaurant. Because this restaurant rotates. I don't know if I mentioned that. We are spinning. You're amazing. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> that was the best interaction ever with Pluto. He snuck up on me. And I was like, oh, 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 I was and the mac, I remember the mac and cheese was so good last time I was I here. I you telling me that. Yeah. So the big guy himself. Oh. <laughs> they, did you prepare our food, Chef Mickey? Yes. You were out there farming. There you go. <laughs> oh. 
Yes, we are. <laughs> it's delicious. been such a good day, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Since our strawberry shortcake has arrived. Oh my god, it's so good. It's so good. I just said goodbye to my friends. We had the best night just catching up. We had so much to talk about and just it was really nice just hanging out with good people, having a good meal. Garden Girl is such a fun atmosphere too. Like it was so cool. My friends that I was with tonight didn't realize that the restaurant rotates. So that was like so cool to like see their reaction to that. And it's neat the way that it's like almost timed that I don't know how long it takes you to make a full rotation, but it's like the duration of your meal. So it's like you start in the same spot and end in the same spot. And I remember that was the case the last time that I dined there as well. So I feel like Disney has that like strategically planned out and you get to see, you know, the scenes down into living with the land, my favorite ride. So that was really cool. Now I'm gonna go ahead and make my way out of Epcot. Gotta go home to Mickey. <laughs> He's probably missing me. When I went home earlier, he was like sleeping under my bed where he likes to go and I don't even know if he realized I was there. So yes, time to go home. I'm probably gonna then chill tonight and edit. It's what I usually do. How I end my evenings most times, get caught up on editing. But yeah, thank you. This was my, you know, day in my life, my day off. But like I said, not every day is like this, that it's a full entire Disney day. Most of my days I'm, you know, working and like doing that type of stuff. But like I said, even the days when I work, I will get to, you know, still come over in the evening just for a little bit to a park and hang out. And that is something that I've been so, oh, I'm blurry. That is something that I just feel so incredibly blessed and grateful that has got to happen this year. Like I'm, Florida has become my home. Like this is now just like, I am fully at home when I am here. There's spaceship birth right there. I'm gonna walk out of the park. I want to catch, so I showed during my festival, the arts vlog, the rainbow connection sequence that happens on Spaceship Earth with the light show. And that's the one with like Kermit the Frog and Miss Piggy singing. But they actually, I then realized this after the fact, they have a figment segment, like a special figment show. I've been out all day and I need to get home to Mickey, like I said. So I'm not gonna like sit around and wait for it tonight, but at some point before the festival's over, I need to make sure that I come and just sit on a bench and stare up at Spaceship Earth and get to catch that show. Right now, I'll just finish. That's like just this one of the standard light shows that it will do throughout the evening. Whenever the ball is like this, Spaceship Earth's, you know, this color scheme of the purple, red, orange, I always say it looks like the Instagram like logo. <laughs> Good night, Spaceship Earth. Until tomorrow. I am coming back tomorrow. I think I mentioned that in this vlog that me and Alyssa are planning to meet up tomorrow and hang out and do a bunch of Festival of the Arts related things. Thank you guys for joining me on my day in my life video. I would like to do more videos like this. I really wanted to capture in this video just like the lifestyle of what living down here has offered me as the life that I get to live. I'm feeling very grateful, very blessed that this has you know become my reality. It's something I dreamed of for a very, very long time. At points, never knew if I'd finally be able to make it happen. Didn't know if I was brave enough to take the leap to move down here, but I am absolutely loving it and very grateful for that every single day. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here in front of Spaceship Earth. So thank you for joining me. Please like the video, leave me some comments. All those things do go a very far way in helping to support me and the channel. And with that, make today magical, and I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye!